so-called check he's breathing. No, I don't think he's breathing. But he's got one thing. Last man that chat, they're peaking. Don't talk too much, no more speaking. Man, free man, and man, man, still scheming. No threats to protect my cleaners. Creep them, beat it, catch man sleeping. So the beef and things not needed, but I had... All right, coming up next, the wait is over. We get to this matchup for the UFC welterweight division title. on one side and on the other side. Maybe the most well-rounded fighter in this division. Yeah, he is one of the best fighters in the entire UFC. But in front of him, he has one of the most dangerous fighters across all divisions in the octagon. Because that one skill he has is so good that you're, un you're in danger the entire time. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. You got him. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Don't finish this fight. Over and over, he's landed this big body kick. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Just misses with the straight right. Just over three minutes to go. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Oh, look at that head snap back as he connects with another uppercut. Not the first time he's landed that weapon tonight. That's his best shot, man. He's so good at it. He's so good at finding it. And when you think you got a beat on the right uppercut, he shifts his weight off to the side and lands it on the left side. What a great understanding of landing that punch. So he catches the kick there and beautifully counters with the takedown. So a nice job turning that defense into some immediate offense there. He did a great job of turning his defense into his offense, but you can see that he's done that time and time again. He drills that exact action, and it worked in this instance. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Yep, and he's got him secured in the half guard now. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high level grappler. You don't see that very often. Well, you know I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> Second round, straight ahead. Fuck. 